Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith and today we're going to do a video on another brand new arrival here at the dealership. What we're looking at is a 2007 Chevrolet Express with an Explore Raised Roof Limited X SE package. Now this particular van, I get really excited about these, uh, is an all-wheel drive. You just, they're really hard to find um, and uh, extremely rare. So um, again, very excited to have this. And this particular van only has 70,000 miles on it. Um, looking over the whole van, uh, one thing I want to point out is it does have brand new tires all the way around. Uh, they are the Goodyear Eagle 2 tires. Uh, so it's top of the line tire, something you won't have to worry about for quite some time. And this particular van does have a 20 inch polished uh, factory Chevrolet wheel. Now looking over the whole van, uh, the paint is in really good shape for a 2007 model. Uh, being a limited XSE, it does have the medallion ground effects. Um, does have privacy glass all the way around on this particular van. Um, and I believe that the tent in the front is probably about 25 or 30 percent, so it should be legal in all 50 states. Now the privacy glass in the back is a little darker, which is allowed. Um, just a really nice van, and I think it's probably one of the best colors that Explorer offers. That's the bronze mist metallic with the gray bottom. Just a pretty van. I always like to take this time in the back of the van to go over some of the very important safety features on all of our conversion vans and also some of the capabilities that this vehicle can do. Uh, starting off with the safety features, now even though this is a 2007 conversion van, they weren't using a factory backup camera back then, but this vehicle, the previous customer, went ahead and added a really nice uh, Panasonic navigation touchscreen radio and it did come with a backup camera system so it's a really good feature to have on an older van and that camera is right here beside the actual receiver which is a factory tow package. Um, the really nice thing about the, the aftermarket backup camera um, compared to the factory is it has a bunch of LED lights all around the camera so it really helps when putting this vehicle in reverse at night uh, a lot better than the factory ones really. Um, now being an all-wheel drive conversion van this van um, is equipped with traction control. Now all the all-wheel drive conversion vans in the GM platform whether it's a Chevrolet or GMC are in rear-wheel drive all the time and they do work hand in hand with the traction control and know when to engage the front wheels. Now that might sound like a lot to, to try to uh, figure out, but what it ultimately was designed to do is better your gas mileage. So this van is not an all wheel drive all the time, only when it needs to be it will engage and it does it very seamlessly, you will never even notice. If you have any questions on how the all wheel drive system works, feel free to give me a call and I can go into that with better detail. Now moving along, um, as I mentioned, where the backup camera is, is right by the receiver. This van does have a factory tow package, and it is a Class 3 receiver, and this van has the capability to tow up to 6,400 pounds. So this vehicle is really the best of both worlds, uh, towing capabilities, and uh, can bring everybody in the family. Great features to have. All right, moving along to the back of this 2007 all-wheel drive Explorer. I want to go over everything that's in the back of this van starting with the electronics. Now this particular van has a 26 inch Sony flat panel television in it. It is an HD monitor um, and it does also have a built-in tuner so um, you do have the capability to pick up some local channels on here as well. Now that TV is paired up with a DVD player. Now as far as watching a DVD or television in the back of this van you have two different options as far as the audio goes. You do have four Blaupunk surround sound speakers that are located up in the raised roof, or you can listen to uh, the movie or TV through the wireless headphones that are provided. So that's a really nice feature to be able to do it both ways. Now obviously um, it does have a DVD player in the back as I mentioned, but it will play audio CDs as well. So if you want to listen to two different types of music in this van, uh, the front passengers can listen to whatever they want and anybody in the back could listen to a CD of choice. So that's a nice feature to have as well. Um, another neat feature about this van, one that you don't find too often in the older vans, but maybe all the newer conversion vans, is the gaming console. Now this does have a built-in 110 plug-in and three RCA jacks located right in the console in between the front two seats. 
Now what that does is that gives you the capability to hook multiple devices up and view them through the big TV in this van. Any gaming system, tablets, uh, laptops, stuff like that. So you've got a, a bunch of different capabilities um, uh, or options as far as entertainment back here. Now as far as the seating goes in the back, as I mentioned, it is a seven passenger conversion van with a row of captain chairs and a rear uh, power sofa that'll sit three. These chairs are on a quick release pedestal, uh, weigh about 45 pounds, so if you ever need any extra cargo space in the back of these vans, uh, very easy to accommodate. Just simply pull a lever, they come right out, and like I said, 45 pounds, not too hard to move them. They do have armrests on both sides and are fully reclinable. Now all the windows in the back of uh, most of these conversion vans have privacy blinds. This van's no exception, has privacy blinds all the way around. Also does have overhead storage with a nice safety net and all these storage bins up in the raised roof are lit. So um, easy to find what you might be looking for at night. Now this particular van does have an indirect lighting system as well. And as Brian will show you later on in the video, there's some really pretty LEDs located up in the ceiling. Now you have the option to be able to turn those on or off, but it just really dresses up the van at night. And I tell you, it puts off just the right amount of light so everybody can kind of see each other's face while they're trying to have a conversation at night and not really deter the driver. So really cool feature about a conversion van. Okay, now I want to take this time to talk about the rear sofa in this particular van. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it will accommodate three passengers, but the best part about the rear sofa is it does have the capability to fold flat into a bed. Now, being an X package top of the line Explorer, it does have the three piece sofa, uh, which gives you about an additional foot. So uh, it's a really nice, uh, the three piece makes it a lot easier to try to sleep on compared to the two piece. So that's a bonus in this van. Now also that sofa is on a sliding track. So you do have the capability to move it forward or back to either give yourself a little more leg room in the back or maybe some more storage behind the rear seat. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is the top of the line Explorer package being an X package. That means it comes with the rear power sunroof. So none of the conversion vans have any windows that will really roll down in the back. So getting that sunroof in the back of the van is crucial uh, when you're in between those heat and air conditioning stages to get to uh, some ventilation in the back of the van. And it's a fully functional sunroof like you'd find in any standard car, truck, SUV. It will pop up and it'll slide all the way back. Okay, moving along to the front of the van. I want to go over all the basic features that are in the front of this 2007 Explorer conversion van, uh, starting with the electronics in here. Um, we do have power windows on both sides. They are a heated power mirror. Uh, they are a breakaway mirror, either forward or back, which is a nice feature to have. Um, this van does have keyless entry. Um, it actually does have an Excalibur um, aftermarket alarm system with a remote start. Um, it does have power seats in the front. Both of these captain chairs up here on our eight-way power pedestal. Uh, they do have power recline. They also feature heat and power lumbar. So they're really uh, nice co cozy chairs up in the front of this van. Uh, moving over to the dashboard, we do, like I mentioned earlier, have an aftermarket uh, navigation radio, touch screen, CD player, AM FM tuner. Uh, it does have auxiliary input. It is Bluetooth, hands-free capable, um, and it does have a really nice Clarion equalizer located right below it. So for any audio file out there, you might appreciate that. With the, being a conversion van, we do have a rear heat and air system in the back of the van. We do have controls in the back of the van for the climate, but the front of the van also has controls to, to uh, adjust that as well, and those are located right here above the mirror. Now you're also going to notice about four buttons up here as well. Uh, with a red dot on them. Those are for all the lights and all the power in the back of the van. Now if you have any questions on any of those toggle switches that you'll see later on in this video, uh, feel free to give me a call and I can go over every switch and, and tell you what it does. Um, and that pretty much wraps up the front of this 2007 Explorer Chevrolet conversion van. Once again, my name is Justin Smith, and I want to thank you for joining us here this afternoon at Paul Sherry Conversion Vans, and we hope you enjoyed this video that Brian and I did on this new arrival here, this 2007 Chevrolet Explorer all-wheel drive conversion van. Now, if you have any questions on something that we might not have covered in this video, or maybe a question on a different van that you've seen on our website, please don't hesitate to call. 
We're always around and willing to answer anybody's question. And for those of you that are in search of that next great deal, maybe a van that we haven't even gotten yet, I kindly ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and even like us on Facebook. That's going to make sure that you don't miss out on the next great conversion van here at Paul Sherry. Thanks again.